Welcome back. Now, Ivory Coast rubber industry has been hit by a sharp drop in prices and falling demand, forcing farmers to switch to other crops and potentially preventing the country from reaching its goal of doubling output by 2020. Ivory Coast, the world's top cocoa grower, is also Africa's leading rubber producer, with an output up 7% to 340,000 tons in 2015. The output is expected to reach 359,000 tons in 2016 and 394,000 tons the following year. Ivorian rubber production is mainly exported to the European Union, China, India, Malaysia and the United States. Some 150,000 rubber farmers have planted about 520,000 hectares of smaller scale plantations and an additional 50,080 hectares of larger plantations, but less than half of the planted hectares have matured and will produce rubber this year. Well, a look at what is happening in the comic industry in Nigeria, entrepreneur and founder of Comic Republic, Jude Martins wants to tell stories that will have a positive influence on in young Africans and shape their attitudes by giving them new superheroes to admire. Now, Jude Martins is working on a sketch for one of the characters in his latest comic series. The artist is on a mission to promote a comic reading culture on the continent and introduce young people to African superheroes. Martin's company, Comic Republic, has created an ensemble known as African Avengers who fight for a better Nigeria. The artist's production outfit targets online users and wants to rival the long line of Western iconic comic superheroes like Superman and Spider-Man by carrying stories that the African reader can relate to. The comic industry is lucrative in all over the world. Um, comic sales in major countries um, sell in billions. It's actually a billion dollar industry. But in Nigeria, it's novel. And that's because um, we, didn't, we didn't grow up. Our parents were not such to bring us into comics. But right now, Nigerians are accepting comic, comic characters. You know, the top grossing movies in our cinemas are of comic heroes. Um, Nigerians are increasingly watching series and television programs that have comic individuals in them. The 37-year-old artist always had a passion for comics. He established his company in 2013. The online startup has had over 20,000 app downloads since their latest release in January. Martins works with a team of young illustrators. Together, they've created nine characters. There are no proper African popular superheroes. They are a myriad of creators, but popular African superheroes, we don't have those. And you must understand that in passing our own message across, that remains one of the subsets of our goal, of making sure that the African way of life, the African disposition that people outside of Africa and even people within Africa who need to be reminded, will, you know, our message will reach them. Comic Republic has already produced six titles and 13 editions, which are available for free online. I enjoy reading both African and foreign comic books, but I think I enjoy African more because we, we now have comics like The Guardian Prime, which can help improve Nigeria to be a better country. Yeah comic companies who are held as the standard for comics everywhere in the world. Um, Nigerian comic companies have not been producing comic companies that art-wise, colors, or even story can match the big names internationally. Comic Republic makes it a point of duty or our goal is to rival the international brands. The comic market in Nigeria dates back to the 80s when traditional print publications like Ikebe Suba was a favorite among comic lovers. The comic magazine, which featured interesting characters, sold over a million copies and had a strong distribution chain across the country. And that's it on the program. Thank you for watching. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. Have a beautiful weekend.